Hello everyone. So GATE 2025 results were out today and here we have AI rank 5 Madhur Thakkar with us today. Congratulations Madhur on securing AI 5. Thank you so much. So how do you feel right now? Yeah, I am on cloud 9 on Charan Sky. <laughs> That's really nice. So how did you go about with your preparation? So I am a 2023 pass out. Uh, first of all, I had a job for uh, around 8 months. Uh, I came to know about GATE through my colleague. So I'm very thankful to her and also came to know about uh, Vision Kit Institute from her. So and uh, for uh, initially I thought to prepare along with the job parallelly. But uh, after uh, around 15-20 days I came to know that it is not possible for me to do it uh, parallelly. So I decided to leave the job and yeah later on gave my full uh, to get and uh, yeah, this is the result. <laughs> so, was it a difficult decision for you to leave your job and continue for your gate? Yes, of course. Uh, I had my doubts initially about my decision. And uh, not only initially, I had doubts in the, in the middle also. Yeah, but as my uh, preparation got stronger, I uh, got confidence in the core subjects. Uh, I thought that, yeah, uh, now I can do it and my decision is not wrong. So how did you start your preparation? Did you go for concepts first or were the test series first? Yeah, first of all I went to the concepts and uh, after uh, clearing out uh, 4 to 5 subjects I started giving full length tests. Uh, initially of course I got low marks because my subject because my syllabus was not uh, completed. Yeah, but uh, marks don't matter in the start. Uh, all it matters that how you analyze the test that you give. So yeah. So what was your approach towards the series? How do you go about it? Yeah, first I started uh, with full length test of three hours. So initially I did, uh, I did around 10 to 15 tests, for full length test. And then uh, when my marks were uh, constant, like uh, nearly 55, 60 for a long time. So at the time uh, uh, I started giving subject wise test and uh, particular uh, topic wise tests also so that boosted my mark, marks from 60 to uh, 65 70 and about that that's really yeah. nice so if there was a difficult topic how did you deal with it uh, there were many difficult topics so first of all uh, what i did was i analyzed that which topics are difficult for me then uh, i went through the concepts first then I solved all the PYQs regarding those uh, topics. Uh, not like uh, I am solving a PYQ of a particular topic, then again repeating the PYQs of the same topic, not like that. First I solved the PYQ of a certain topic, then another, then another, and then again repeat the first one. So it gives you like how long can you uh, understand those concepts. If you forget it, then it's uh, a problem. So you need to uh, repeat those in this manner. I repeated like it was my strategy. So I I know that your journey was a consistent journey rather than an intelligent journey. So uh, yeah. the people who were more intelligent than you, how did you deal with them? Actually, I never competed with uh, anyone uh, other than myself. Uh, I thought that uh, uh, I am my biggest competition. So uh, I just strive to uh, get better from my previous version. So that was my only goal. That's really nice. Yeah. So, is there any last advice you would like to give to people who would uh, who are still in a dilemma if they should leave their job or not? Uh, there is no correct answer for this question. Actually, uh, do whatever your heart says. Like, uh, if your heart says to you uh, that you have to leave the job and get to uh, get full on preparing for it, then do it. And uh, if it says that. Uh, you are not that confident about leaving your job and uh, if you will give your full 100% to preparing for GATE then give some time to yourself, think about it and uh, take your decision uh, accordingly. And that's a really nice quote. Do what your heart says. So your preparation was only for 7 months. Yeah. How did you go about it? So initially I started uh, clearing my concepts of uh, around 2-3 to three subjects. For, uh, then around uh, after 1.5 to 2 months I started giving tests daily so first initially I used to give simple tests and 
then I started full length test. Then I started giving subject wise test that uh, for that core uh, for understanding that core subject. So yeah, that was my preparation strategy. Okay. So one question that everyone has in their minds: How do you manage stress on the day of the exam? <laughs> so yeah, the day before the exam. i uh, did not study after 5 pm and i did whatever i wanted to like uh, watching movies uh, playing games listening to music i know this sounds a bit uh, uh, irrational but yeah this is what i did it uh, elevated my mood and it uh, and i was more confident the next uh, uh, on the next day and uh, yeah that so what was your strategy in your final days of exam preparation yeah so before final days uh, in the middle i used to give test daily around uh, minimum one test so maybe uh, some days no, uh, around one month before i used to give uh, two tests daily so six hours of test and maybe sometimes it, uh, it went to three tests if the first two tests were not good so yeah this was my preparation strategy and in the last one week i uh, went on to uh, revise all my notes because i had given enough tests so i was confident with uh, accuracy and speed so i just uh, rev- revised my concepts in the last one week and gave around uh, four to five tests in the last one week so yeah so the people that are watching you right now is there anything you would like to say to them yeah uh, if you want to give gate or any exam just give your full to it don't uh, go half hearted in it like half hearted won't give you the results that you like actually uh, if you give your full and then you achieve results it is the best feeling in the world so yeah this is my only advice that's such a true statement so you. what's your next step after gate what are you going to do uh i would try uh, i the admission process will take place then i'll try to give my best in the studies and try to secure a good job yeah or uh, if my mind changes i can also try for phd i don't know now what i'm going to do so yeah living in the moment and not thinking much about the future says thank you so much madhur for being here with us today it was a really nice taking your interview thank you